Hey guys, and in this video, we'll continue making cube volleyball in Scratch. Hey guys, and in this video, we'll start part two for cube volleyball in Scratch. We'll make an AI opponent that we can play against, and we'll add a feature where we're going to be able to spike the ball. Let's get started. To start off part two, let's get started with the opponent. Since the opponent's starting script is similar to the player's starting script, drag this script into here. Now, let's make a few changes. First of all, type in 171 into here, and drag these out. Now, let's start by making the opponent move left and right. Create a new my block, and call it left and right. Create an input, call it speed. Click run file screen refresh and press OK. Now, we have to code how the player should react moving left and right across the field. There are two possible states. State number one is where the volleyball is on the opponent's side of the screen, in which it should move towards the volleyball. In other words, if its x is greater than the volleyball's x, then we move left, or else we move right. However, if the volleyball is on the player's side of the screen, then we want the opponent to move towards the center of the field. Let's get coding. First of all, drag on an if-then-else block then a greater than block. In sensing, drag out this of block. Set this to volleyball, and this should automatically change to x position. Then set this to 30. Now, if the volleyball's x is greater than the opponent's x, then let's move right. Drag out an the if then block. Then let's duplicate this. In motion, drag out x position in the here. OK. Now we want to change x by speed. Drag out change x by 10 and set this to speed. Now, what happens if the opponent is touching the wall? In other words, its x is equal to or greater than 222. If this happens, let's set the x position of the opponent to 222. Start by going to control and drag out an if then block. Then in operators, drag out a greater than block. In motion, drag out x position and set this to 222. Then, Let's set x to 222. Awesome. Now, let's test this new block. Go to my blocks, drag out left and right, and set this to 3. Now we click the green flag. If the volleyball goes to the right of the opponent, then the opponent moves to the right. Great. Now, let's have the opponent move to the left too. Duplicate this. Set this to y position. Then switch these two inputs around. And we want the opponent to move by negative speed. So go to operators, drag out a minus block, set this to zero, drag speed into here, and drag it back into here. Now, if the opponent moves too much to the left, then it'll be touching the net. This x position is 25. Let's first start by dragging this into here, set this to 25, and then set this to 25. Now, the opponent will be able to move to the left too. Great. Now it looks like our opponent can now play with the volleyball. Great! However, we can still easily win by making the volleyball out of reach. However, we have encoded the condition where the opponent now moves to the center of the screen. That'll make the opponent harder to beat. Let's do this. Start by removing this quickly, duplicate this, set it right here, and drag this back into here. Then drag this into here. Now we have the exposition code right here. Now, we're going to need to do some math here. In order for the opponent to not shake around one side of the screen, we first going to divide speed by 2, then round it off to the number higher than that, then add or subtract it from 118. By doing this, the opponent will avoid moving rapidly left and right, left and right, left and right, to the point where it's shaking crazily. Let's do this. Drag this out here, then drag out a divided by block, duplicate this, set this to 2, then, drag out the absolute value of block, set this to ceiling, then drag this in the here. Then, drag out a minus block. Set this to 118, drag this in the here. Now drag this back in the here. Great! Now, when the volleyball is on our side of the screen, the opponent returns to the center position. Great! Let's also have it move to the left. Duplicate this. Then, drag out a plus block, set this to 118, drag this in the here, and then drag this out, drag x position in the here, and drag this back in the here. Now, 
Let's duplicate this, drag this out, and place this back into here. Now, we've coded the whole script for the opponent to move left and right. Great! Now, let's have the opponent respond to gravity. Go to my blocks and let's create a new my block called gravity. Add two inputs, force and jump height. Click on the screen refresh and press OK. Now, this script is almost the same as the player's gravity script. So let's select player, drag this into the opponent. First of all, snap this into here, and let's drag this out. Instead of having the opponent press the up button when it wants to jump, let's have it be close to the volleyball. Let's have it so if its X position minus the volleyball's X position is less than 40, then it can jump. We also need to take the absolute value of subtracting the x's, so we'll only return a positive value instead of returning a negative value. To do this, go to operators and drag out a minus block. And sensing, drag out the of block. Let's set this to the volleyball, and this should automatically be set to x position. Now, drag out x position. Then, in operators, drag out the absolute value of block. Drag this in the here. And then a greater than block, set this to 40, and drag this into here. Now, drag this back into here. Let's also remove jump height and force, place them back in there so that it's synced with the new my block. Let's test this. Go over here, select my blocks, and drag out gravity. Let's set this to negative 1, and let's set this to 14. Now, when we click the green flag, our opponent can jump. Great. However, it feels a bit weird how the opponent jumps and moves at the exact same time. Let's change this. Over to left and right, drag out an if-then block. In operators, drag out an equals block. Let's see if gravity is equivalent to zero before we move. In variables, drag out gravity, and let's set this to zero. Now, when we click on the green flag, our opponent can jump, and not weirdly, too. Great. This is amazing. Now we can play volleyball against an opponent. However, it's now kind of hard to win. What if we add a special feature, like spiking? With spiking, we can have the volleyball move faster, but with less gravity. Let's do this. First of all, head over to the volleyball. Now, let's do two things. First of all, create a new variable and call it ball movement. And press OK. Now, uncheck this box. Then, let's edit the gravity my block. Let's add three new inputs. Movement, spike movement, and spike height. Press OK. Now, let's go over to the gravity my block. Start by dragging out an if then else block right here. Drag out set touching right here. Let's see if the key space is pressed. This would be the key that we press to spike the ball. This happens, let's set gravity to spike height instead of hit height. And let's set ball movement to spike movement. Now, let's duplicate this, place it in the here, drag these two out. Let's set this to movement and this to hit height. Now, let's also have the opponent spike too when the Y position of the volleyball is greater than 20. Let's delete this and duplicate this and place it here. Now drag this out, then let's replace it with a greater than block. Then, in motion, drag out Y position and set this to 20. Now let's test this. Go over to here, and then in variables, drag out set ball movement. Let's set ball movement to five. Then drag ball movement into here, ball movement into here, and then let's set this to five. 14, and 4. Now, when we click on the green flag, when we press the middle of the space bar, we can spike. Great! One thing we notice, though, is that the opponent is spiking way too low. Any idea how we can fix this? Well, we can change the number right here. Let's change this to 40. Great! Now the opponent can spike. Now, let's fix one more bug. As you can see, if the volleyball drops below the white line, the volleyball stays below the white line and keeps on bouncing. Let's fix this. Let's start by creating a new my block, and let's call it scoring. Click button for screen refresh and press OK. Now control, drag out an if-then block. 
than a greater than block. Let's set this to negative 81. And let's set this to y position. Now, we'll have to reset three things. First of all, let's go to 0 and 76. Then let's set gravity to 3. And let's set ball movement to 5. Let's test this. Drag out scoring in the here, then click the green flag. Now, when the volleyball drops below the white line, the volleyball resets. Great! Well, we just finished part two of Cube Volleyball and Scratch. In our next video, we'll add a final touch, adding a menu system and even scoring, as you can see here. I'll see you at part three, and have fun coding. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learning how to make your own video games, make sure to subscribe. Watch out for part three, be there or be MC squared. See ya.